Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Wisconsin boy Nick Vile became famous on the network reality hit show The Bachelorette back in 2014. That's right. And after a few more runs throughout The Bachelor franchise and a few more broken hearts, Nick is still making his mark. And we are happy to have Nick back on the L Couch this morning with his sister Maria Vile as well, who you all know, who's our holistic nutritionist. Good to have you guys here. Thanks for having us. You guys are sitting a little far apart. You need to buddy up a little. <laughs> Sibling love. <laughs> How is it being back in Wisconsin? It's good. It's always good to be home visiting family. Yeah. yeah. Did you plan it for Summerfest? Uh, no, but I did go to Summerfest with Maria when I first got back. But uh, I do like coming back during the summer. Uh, yeah. Fourth of July isn't quite the same out in, in the that West like, Coast. Yeah. It's more fun than back home, so I try to get back. That is true. I think I feel like anything in the Midwest during the summer is more fun here. There's a little bit more energy. Yes. Uh, people seem to appreciate uh, good weather yes. uh, a yeah. little bit more in the Gotta Midwest soak it when up. you don't have it. Yeah. Um, uh, we, we, we take it for granted out in California. So it's very true. It's, so that's where you're at now. You're in you're in L.A. I'm in Los Angeles. Living the life. Yeah. I'm living. <laughs> <laughs> how living long a life. How yeah. many years have you been there now? Uh, almost four now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are you acclimating? It's probably easy to get into that vibe. You get used to the weather quickly, but yeah. uh, L.A. is a, it's a tricky place. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have a, a great uh, network of friends and, and group of friends. That always makes it easier. So. Well, it's tough because you guys have a big family. And so yeah. it's like, you know, I'm sure you guys want to get together, see everybody, see all the nieces and nephews, and yeah. come back and spend a little time doing that. Yeah, it's nice to do that. And, you know, thank God technology makes it easier to keep in touch. I'm, I always could be better. Um, That's true. Yeah. For yeah. sure it could be better. You know, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, we all get lost in our own world, you know, but yeah. Could probably make phone calls home to mom. It gives you a reason to go travel to uh, west to nice places. Yeah. yeah. In fact, the podcast you had the whole family on the podcast. I had I had uh, on my podcast Vile Files. I had my mom and uh, my my mom and dad and uh, Olivia and Bella came out and that was a fun fun uh, episode and um, we were you know very proud of our sister Olivia who who came out as gay and um, you know that's for for a family that you know grew up very traditional and conservative it was something that I think as a family we were pr very proud of and something that uh, I thought was a, an interesting topic to talk about you know my audience uh, a lot very come from very similar roots that you know mm -hmm. we grew up in kind of a very conservative upbringing and I think it's important to kind of talk about um, you can be progressive and, and still have traditions. I like that, and I think that's an important message for people to hear too. When you you started the Vile Files, as you said, so that's a podcast mm -hmm. people can tune yep. into. Mm -hmm. You've interviewed some really fun people. Who's been your favorite, or or maybe the most interesting conversation you've had so far? Um, I think it's it all varies. I mean, I think there's always a little bit of interesting topics from each one. Uh, my my family episode was really important to me. Uh, Nikki Glazer is a friend of mine. She's a comedian. She's very funny, so I really enjoyed having having her on. And uh, we always I, say here, it's tough to interview comedians. Because uh, oftentimes you know, you don't know if they're like because comedians have a very strict set usually when they perform, yeah, yeah. and so oftentimes are people they? expect them to be funny, and they want to just tell you more about who they are. Yeah, I mean, I I haven't experienced that. Um, you know, I think with the podcast format, I mean, it's less of an interview and yeah. more of a conversation yeah. around topics. So I think that it maybe helps them loosen up about yeah. whatever we're, we're talking about, and and it's meant to be kind of entertaining and fun and, and hopefully loose. funny and, 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 and it's, loose. It's so. not recorded in a I mean, you have mics, I saw, but you're sitting on couches. You're kind of chilled, right, in, a, in an environment that maybe makes them more comfortable? Yeah, I mean, it's a very relaxed atmosphere, and it's, um, it's, not, it's different than radio right. and TV. Where you're in a where studio. You, and you can kind of stop and start whenever you want. Um, and quite honestly, when it comes to podcasts, the audience, I think, sometimes appreciates not even editing out those moments. Yeah. If, mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we do for the sake of time, but... Um, it's kind of meant to be more of an intimate setting, so you feel like the audience is, you know, listening to a conversation that, you know, two people would have in a car. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's fun following what, all the things you do. You, you paint, you cook, you're doing oils now. Yeah. I mean, you've got, like, all these different aspects of everything you're doing. Yeah, I mean, Natural Habits is uh, my essential oil company that I, I started with Maria. And quite honestly, you know, I wouldn't have started it if it weren't for Is Maria. it Maria approved? It's well, Maria you know, yeah. yes, that was kind of, that's um, the only reason that he brought me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, yeah, it's a, Maria got, as a user, Maria got me started uh, with essential oils. Um, I've had, I've struggled with anxiety uh, over the years. And, you know, Maria being the holistic nutritionist that she is, obviously is always looking for 
uh, alternatives to, uh, you know, medication, you know, um, that's a kind of a last resort. Uh, Have you found for, relief from? Uh, yeah, it really, is, essential oils uh, has very much helped me when it comes to helping me sleep better and helping me with my anxiety. And as a user, I struggled, you know, trying to find the right combinations. And quite honestly, it was surprisingly difficult to find uh, an essential oil that was USDA organic certified. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of blends, a lot of companies call themselves 100% pure. They have other designations that aren't recognized by a, a third party. And so, uh, I spent a lot of time, about a year, curating farms around the, w the world, seven different farms that we, we get our oils from, and we designed specific blends to help uh, alleviate uh, certain ailments, like help you sleep better with uh, a yeah. um, uh, release blend or anxiety, or help with headaches if you are prone to that, or just an immunity boost. And uh, I worked with Maria to kind of develop it, and um, you know we're kind of doing it as a, as a team, and something that's been very uh, passionate for me, and it's it's been a lot of fun. And does it work? It's, That's it what people want to know. Yeah. It's, it does. And, and the thing about essential oils is it's, uh, it can help with you know, help you sleep better and help with headaches. It's also just a safe alternative to uh, scenting your indoor air. Yeah. Um, uh, you can diffuse essential oils and it's very clean. I like unfor and I know top candle people love their candles. Yeah, I get it. Got it. You, yeah. There's some toxic. Yeah, yeah, there's some. Um, uh, they have carcinogens in them. You are burning them. They are flammable. They are at risk. Uh, there's other chemicals that you are putting into the air, or just synthetic air fresheners like for like for breezes. Those are all toxins that you're putting in the air yeah. and breathing. And essential oils, not only do they not have that, are they they're clean. Yeah, they do have therapeutic benefits that can help. I think we need a diffuser right now. No, we right. Do. <laughs> we do. Well, and the thing that the joke too is, it's not they don't fix everything, right? Like it's like yeah, they help, and it's it's important for you to have. And I think that's where I kind of give the edge of like it's yeah, part Maria's, of an approach. Maria's We're out of time, but I want to make sure people know how to follow you. They can follow you online. Uh, online at Nick Vial. You can find us at uh, nhoils.com. All customers are getting 20% off right now at checkout. You don't have to put in a code and free shipping domestically. Thanks, you guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. Good to see you. Great to meet you. Yeah, Love it. You.